I decided to do a tutorial, I guess a baking tutorial because this is like the only second one or third one I've ever done. So I'm like, okay, I need to do another baking tutorial and since Valentine's Day is coming up, what better way than to make jam filled heart Valentine's Day looking cookies, see? I don't want to tip it over, over anymore because my cookies were going to fall. But they're the, like European style, I think it's European style, jam filled cookies and I have chocolate on my finger. And my dog wants some cookies but he can't have any because these are not for you boo boo. And I know that you guys love my nice Valentine's Day sunglasses. I found them at the dollar store earlier today when I was looking for white chocolate. Hope you guys enjoy this video of how to make jam filled cookies. And there's going to be like little, um, I'm going to have like little slides telling you guys what I did wrong, what you guys should do, but either way they still came out good and my mom really likes them. So uh, either way it's going to work out fine, but I'll tell you the correct way to do it without messing up like I did. So I hope you guys like this and just keep watching if you want to know how to do them. The recipe will also be posted on my blog and there will be a direct link to the post in the description bar below. So first you want to grab a pretty big bowl and you're going to add in one cup of unsalted butter. I did half a cup first, mixed it, and then added the other half and beat that together. Then you want to add in half a cup of powdered confectioner sugar and beat that together until smooth. Add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'll be doing this four times because I'm using a one fourth size spoon and then blend it together. In a separate bowl, mix together two cups all purpose flour and one fourth teaspoon of salt. I messed up so I just added my flour into the mixture afterwards. As you can see, my flour, um, well it's in a jar thing of a bob. Then I just mixed that together and afterwards I added my salt in. Now take your saran wrap, put the dough on it and flatten it into a disc shape. You then want to wrap it up in the plastic wrap and chill the dough in your refrigerator for at least one hour. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take some flour and put it on the workspace that you'll be working on. Take the dough and flatten it out to about one fourth of an inch thick and you should probably do this with a roller but I just couldn't find mine at the moment. You then want to take your cookie cutter and cut out heart shaped pieces. This should come off easily if you put down enough flour beforehand. As you're doing this make sure to put the unbaked cookies onto some parchment paper. Now take a smaller heart shaped cookie cutter and you're going to cut out the middle of only half of the unbaked cookies. You should end up with a top part and a bottom part so you can sandwich the cookies together later. Place the unbaked cookies in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. This is just so the cookies keep their shape once they are placed in the oven. Now put your cookies in the oven for about 10 minutes or until golden brown and in the meantime you want to grate some white chocolate. Once the cookies are baked and cooled down a little bit, you want to dust the tops of the cookies with confectioners or powdered sugar. Now for the bottoms of the cookies, you just want to turn them all over. You then want to put the raspberry jam onto the cookie and you're going to spread them out all evenly, not too much, not too little. And then you want to take your white chocolate and sprinkle, sprinkle them all over your cookies. Now we can start sandwiching our cookies together, but make sure not to smug the confectioner sugar on top of the cookie. You then want to take a small spoon and fill the cutout with a little bit more jam. And now our cookies are all done! The recipe says that this makes about 12 sandwiched cookies, but I managed to make 20. So I hope you guys like this tutorial of how to make jam filled cookies. And they're so delicious and my mom loves them and I like them and they're so good. And my dog wants some, but he can't have any, right, Boo Boo? And my doggy wants some jam-filled cookies, as you can see. He's smelling them. You want them? Don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, um, he seems to be wanting them too, so they must be delicious because my dog doesn't eat anything that tastes bad. Um, he doesn't even like his dog food. So anyway, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And happy Valentine's Day to you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye! Oh, cookies falling! Bye, guys!